Hello, welcome to DL in Germany. We're here in our building in Lüdenscheid and my name is Michael Immeke. I would like to present to you the ray tracing functions within Dialogs Evo. These are used to visualize the shadows casted by objects within your slide scene. Visitors at the Dialogs homepage have selected ray tracing as a topic of this clip. This is really one of the easiest things to do within EVO. Assume you have a well-prepared project with all necessary calculations done, the structures and everything calculated. Then you're ready to start. You find the right button below the calculation icon here at the top. Those who know ray tracing options from Classic Dialogs 4 will be surprised how fast the picture will be generated. Here you have the button, the third icon on the left side. There's a red ball on a mirror. This to symbolize that ray tracing includes mirror effects. Here we have such a calculated project which you can ray trace instantly. The calculation time is often reduced to the half compared to former ray tracers and the quality is better too. While I'm talking, we can give it a try. It will take only some seconds. Of course, it has a lot to do with the complexity of the scene, but more important is the size of the final image, which can be adjusted with this slider. Here you have the progress line, which increases while I'm talking. The dimensions are preset by the software, and they cannot be changed to an individual scale. Such an image can be viewed at any time. It can be renamed and remains always part of the project and by this is enlarging the file size of the project. Deletion is also possible by selecting the image and pressing the delete button. It may also be saved, this picture, to another place by selecting save image. It may then be used within any other presentation, of course. If you want to use it within the documentation, you have the views and while the typical views are to be found under 2D, 3D, the ray tracings are to be found below the word images or you can select all and you can insert such a picture in the usual way by confirming your selection. The size which you have determined for your ray tracing will be reflected by the size or the dimension it will take on the paper. Back to the picture. Let's have a look at another project. Because ray tracing always includes everything that would be visible from the camera point. Even if you're in the room view, like we are now, a ray tracing will show you everything which would be in the other room if there's a transparency to look through. You would even look to the outside or into another room. So let's wait a second for the picture to appear. Here we have the picture which is medium sized. There you can see, even if you're in the room view, the ray tracing would visualize the exterior or the neighboring room if there is a transparency. You see, you can't see the room next door, but you'll see it in the ray tracing because you'll use the real camera perspective. Additionally, we have the HDR option. That means we have different exposures of one camera point stored in one file and with a suitable software that can be adjusted afterwards to highlight a certain area or a certain aspect of your ray tracing. Here we have exposures which are generated within Dialogs Evo. At the end, I will point your attention at the DL homepage, where you can find a link to a gallery of ray trace pictures. I hope that will inspire you to produce beautiful results as well. That is already everything regarding ray tracing. But stay tuned, there will be another clip very soon. In the meantime, I send you my best regards. From DL in Germany, my name is Michael Immeke. Goodbye. <laughs>